Hi, welcome back everyone. Today I'm here with Wayne Turner again to continue talking about How Far and Back. Yes, uh, today we're going to talk about the Italians. Um, inside How Far and Back you'll find four different uh, Italian companies and one hero. And one hero, yes. So uh, I'll just quickly go over the hero. Uh, uh, Captain Sergio Fletti, he's a, um, he can command uh, one of the position uh, position de Fusilieri, which is a, basically a fortified position um, in, in cards of a company of uh, Fusilieri infantry. Yeah. Um, he's got, um, he adds um, to their morale and he's, uh, can, um, he can sacrifice an a, a infantry team to save a, a gun nest. Yeah, yeah cool. Mm -hmm. What happened? The Italians invaded. Yep, in uh, 1940 the Italians uh, declared war on uh, France and uh, Britain and uh, and they invaded uh, Egypt in 90, in September 1940 to um, to try and take over, take out Egypt and take the Suez Canal. Uh, they ended up advancing a little bit into Egypt and then setting up fortified camps and then um, sitting there for a while. And then then the British obviously launched Operation Compass and drove them all the way back to yep. Beta Fom. Pushed them back out and um, uh, they fought all the way back to uh, about halfway through Libya before the Italian 10th Army was surrounded by the British and knocked out. Cool. So the first of the list is the Campania Cari. Yeah, Campania Cari. So it's a, a, a Cari company. It's um, made up of uh, M, uh, 1340 tanks. Cool. I, I suppose the big thing to mention is that the um, Italian tanks got three front armour and a 47mm gun, which makes them superior in a stand-up firefight to a um, to a cruiser army. Yeah, and also the, the uh, British have an anti-tank uh, seven, but only have two, while the Italians have any tank six, while the um, while the uh, the Italian tanks have three frontal armor, so it's kind of it's quite even sort of in, in a stand up fight. But once the maneuvering happens, the British have a little bit of advantage. Yeah. And then they've got the first of the infantry components to it, which is the Campania Bersaleri. Yep. So this is um, this is your standard uh, Italian motorized infantry. They have, um, they're organized into platoons rather than and then uh, um, companies like they are and um, some l later on we have. Um, they are just infantry platoons and all their heavy weapons etc come in separate platoons unlike they do in North Africa. Yeah, because uh, the, the, before the, uh, the AS-42 yeah, organisation. Yeah, the 1942 organisation was different. Yeah. yeah, and they can get machine guns, mortars, um, anti-tank guns and uh, one of your new favourite models. Yeah, a little uh, Milmart 102. Um, it's a coastal gun mounted on the back of a truck. Um, it was uh, operated by a kind of uh, coastal defence um, fascist militia um, and uh, um, they operated in North Africa, attached to a couple of units and um, just gave long range uh, anti-tank support. Cool, and I mean, at, um, with 100 centimetre range and anti-tank 11, they're the perfect thing for taking out all the British heavies. Hmm. Uh, so next we have the Campagna Motor Chicolisti. And they are the motorcycle troops. Yeah, so they're basic area as well, except they're uh, mounted on motorcycles. Uh, they use the motorcycle reconnaissance rules, which if anybody of you have, any of you have got uh, Blitzkrieg is very similar to that. Uh, uh, so they, uh, they count as cavalry teams rather than transport teams. Uh, means they get a 3 plus save while mounted and also they're reconnaissance troops while mounted. Yeah, they're pretty awesome with, uh, unlike um, North Africa, they are in slightly larger platoons. Yep, so there's um, there's nine teams in the platoon, so this makes them a bit more survivable than if uh, if they only had seven. Yeah. Then we move on to the first of the new lists in the book, uh, the first of the new style of list in the book, which is the position de Fusilieri. Yep, so this is a fortified um, position. Um, it uh, consists of little um, nests and infantry together. Um, these are these are strong points rather than a fortified line. They're a strong point, and you and you deploy them. In a basically an oval sort of or circular pattern, with the troops in their trenches and the and the nests and stuff in the centre with wire and minefields that around them. Yeah. Yeah, so so rather that so the points of defence as opposed to what you have in the eastern front later on, which are big swathes of uh, minefields and entrenchments, just because of the lack of material. Yeah, and also the space involved. You're trying to cover a lot wider space with a lot less, so it's better to. To concentrate in strong points. Yeah, yeah. Um, very fun list to play. Uh, we're going to be going over in more detail all of the fortified rules and everything in a later video, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So look forward to that one. Of course, they also get lots of cool divisional support. Yeah, yeah. The idea of the, the fortified defence is that they'd stop, stop whatever attack was going on, and then their counter attack would come in and and, and, and deal with whatever that halted. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So I mean, uh, divisional support platoons. You've got the um, M1139, which is a cool new model. Yeah, 
So that's um, that little fella there. Um, that's uh, it's the earlier model medium tank, and that's got a um, it's got a machine gun turret with two machine guns in it, and and the main gun is fitted in a hole, and it's only a thirty seven the main yeah. gun. So anti tank five as opposed to the anti tank six of the um, M thirteen. Yeah. So and there were uh, there was a, quite a few of these units available early on before um, before the defeat the, the defeat of the tenth army in, um, in at the end of nineteen forty. Yeah. They also get the Lancia Fiamme. Yeah, which is a little flamethrower one, one there, little with a trailer. Um, that's uh, that gives you a flamethrower option for your uh, armoured anniversary forces to support them. Of course, yeah. I mean, it's of course of the pro for proliferation of uh, fortified forces. That's going to be awesome to take those. Two yeah, they'll be mountains. handy for taking out nests and things with the flamethrower. Yeah, artillery. Artillery. Yep. Yeah. So there's uh, there's a cannon battery, seventy five twenty sevens, uh, very similar to what you've already probably seen in North Africa. And then the other um, artillery option is the howitzer battery, and that can have the hundred seventeens, which we have here. Or the larger 10528s, which is a French gun that the Italians use. Yeah, brilliant, big new model. Yeah, very nice model, and it's um, it gives you a little bit more punch. Uh, it's got the same firepower as the 117, but it's got a little bit of anti-tank rating. Cool. Um, the, another good option, uh, taking demolishers. Yep, demolishers, which are your pioneers. Um, they've uh, come with uh, their pioneer rifle teams, and um, you can upgrade them to pioneer MG teams if you want. Uh, they also have bricks and mortars for uh, bricks and mortars for support, and you can also put flamethrowers in there. And of course, then come to one of the coolest models, new models we've yes. We now finally have a Italian aircraft, as opposed to just using the old um, Stuka. You can also have now have a Italian a CR forty two. I suppose the last thing then to talk about are the special rules. Yes, so um, like um, like all the other Italian forces we've done before, we've got um, the. Um, 8 million bayonets rule, uh, slightly different for early war, uh, different ratings because they're probably um, a little less well trained, not as experienced as they are later on, and uh, there's elite, and they cover the motor motorcycle infantry, the uh, bestiary, and the, and the um, tanks. And then there's the regular, which cover the fusilieri, and then there's uh, Libyans, which uh, covers uh, uh, an option in the fortified list uh, to have um, the fortified camps when they were fortified in... Um, in Egypt, so yeah, cool. and of course artillery, and finally artillery, which are uh, probably the best rated Italian troops. Uh, you won't get the same amount of veteran troops as you do in the middle war, but they still have uh, the best ratings out of all the Italian options. Yeah. The next one, of course, is Avanti. Avanti, yeah, which is um, if you decide to uh, forego your shooting in the shooting step, you can choose to do an Avanti move. You just do a skill test. If you pass, you can move an extra 10 centimeters. So like Stormtrooper, but it's in the shooting step instead of the assaulting step. The final special rule is heroism. Um, this is where you get the unknown hero. Uh, this is, you make a test, um, basically when you get your first command team destroyed, and that new command team, if, if you pass that test, was uh, becomes a two plus motivation leader of that platoon. So, um, very useful. Very useful, so, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, I suppose that about covers the Italians, doesn't it? Yeah. Cool. Um, we'll be back again later on to talk about Germans. Yep. Until then, thanks for watching.